Hey everyone, it's YouTube Media. Today I'm going to show you how to make your own personalized toolbar that you can download to your internet browser and that you can actually customize, like add a radio, chat, different bookmarks and colors. And you can add it to your website so whenever someone downloads it, you'll actually get paid. You can get paid for each installation by someone else. So first, open up your internet. Then go to c-o-n-d-u-i-t dot com. The link's in the video description. I'm not exactly sure how you pronounce it. Okay, now you're going to have to sign up. So click Get Started at the top. All right, now fill this out. Your name, YTM, email address. Do do do. That's not my real address. All right, name your toolbar. Um, you probably should do your username unless you want it something else. But you could name it your username. I'm just going to name it Example. Uh, test, whatever, you know. Okay, and then enter password. Okay, website URL. This is optional. I'm not going to do it right now, but I'd recommend you do it. Add your website and category. I don't want to be sent emails. I agree. Type in the code E65. And then just click Create My Toolbar. Okay, um, if this pops up, just close that. We don't need that. Okay, at the top, this is what your current toolbar looks like. Um, and here are all the different components you can add to it. There's lots of different ones. You can customize them all. So, first, let's change the logo here. You just put your mouse over it and click Edit. All right, and then scroll down. Now you can do a text one. There's all these different fonts. Or you can do an image. You can select an image. Um, I'm just going to do a text one, so I'm going to do this blue one, YTM. All right, and then you can also make the logo uh, link to somewhere. You can make it link to your uh, YouTube page. I'm going to do that. I probably should add the WW. All right, and then so when they click it, it'll link to my YouTube page. And then just click Save. Oh, maybe I must have to have the HTTP slash. Let's try that. Yep, okay. Just add the HTTP. Alrighty, so there it is. There is my logo. Now let's edit the search. Just over it and then click edit. Alright, and then here are your default searches. You can click edit and uh, select different ones, I guess. Choose an icon. I'm not going to do that though. And then click save. Then you can mess around with all this stuff and more stuff. Search box color. You can change that. I'm going to make it red. Then you can change the search button when you click go, you know, click edit. All right, I'm going to do this one. Then you can add a text like uh, search. Um, or you can also up your load your own icon. Then click save. And then click save again. All righty, there. Look, there it is right there. The background's red. Change the icon and the text. All right, now let's add some components. So let's scroll down. Let's add chat. I'm gonna so just click on chat. Okay, and then scroll down. Now first select your icon for the chat. I'm gonna do this one. Then you can add a text. So I'll just do a uh, talk. You don't have to do it. It's optional. Um, and then these are additional chat rooms. These are just other ones you can add. Um, so you can select whichever ones you want. Whatever. So yeah. Um, just set this to however you want and then just click save. Uh, okay, there's my chat room. See, it says talk like I typed. Alrighty, let's add some other stuff. Separator. This is really easy. You just click separator and click save. And then you can move the separator. I'm going to move it left or move it right, whatever. Okay. Now, just so you know, one thing I don't believe you can move your search because, as you can see, it does not let me give me the option to move it right or left. So Unfortunately, it's going to have to stay right there, as far as I know. So, But you can move all the other c stuff that you add. All right. Um, let's radio player. Click on radio player. I'm going to add a radio. Search for stations and podcasts. Um, all right. You can f search for your radio stations. Just, you know, you can search for a local one that um, is in your city or town. Or you can do Genraws, you know, rock. Uh, I'll just do this one add. Okay, and then you can add other ones. And then move up, move down, whatever. Okay. Okay, now you can 
select the uh, layout of the radio player. So maybe you want to do this one. I'll just keep it on that. Okay, and then click save. Okay, there's my radio player. And maybe I want it over on the left. Uh, wait again. There we go. And then I can move this to the right. Alright, there's my separator. So yeah, now I have my search, radio, chat, my logo. Okay, now, so yeah, you can just go through this, you guys, and, you know, find whatever components you like. If you really get into it, I believe you can do all this stuff with, like, XML and stuff. I haven't got that into it. I've just done it more for fun. But, yeah. There's weather, uh, highlighter, all this other stuff. And then... Yeah, link button, you can add a bookmark, whatever. Okay, um, well for right now, let's go on to the other stuff, like how you get paid for it. Let's go to banners. This is how you get people to download your uh, toolbar. You go to banners, and then you can choose the different ones you want. There's all these different ones. There's the direct download, but I like these ones. Community toolbar images. Alright, I'm going to select this one. Actually, I'll do this one. Download our toolbar. Then go down. Choose what the banner will link do. It'll go to your download page that describes it, or it'll go directly to the installation process. So I'm going to do directly to the installation process. Then copy the code, and you can post this on your website. I'll do it right now. Uh, da -da, toolbar. Um, HTML editor. I'm going to paste the code in, and then click Save. You can just put it, this is my website. Yours, you can probably do it on yours too. Alright, so there it is. See, now it's on my website. And then let's try clicking on it. Okay, then the download box comes up. I'm just going to cancel for now. Okay, um, now let's see. Uh, reports. Let's go to reports. This should tell you how many downloads there's been. Um, let's go to the home. Okay, here's where you find how many people have installed it. Installations, zero. Active users, zero. Revenue, zero. So, as you can see, you get paid for your downloads, but right now, no one's installed this. Of course, I just made it, but... Yeah. And then, all this current balance. So, yeah. And then, if you want to go back and edit something, you just click Edit It Now. And it should automatically update all the other users' toolbar or they might have to click like download a new update but it should just update their current one if you change it you know it should just update yours so yeah um try making your own toolbar you can add it to your website and stuff and uh yeah and the chat's pretty cool um you can like chat between your own users who have the toolbar and the radio all that stuff so yeah try it out just make your own toolbar so that's basically how you get started on making your own toolbar. Well, if this video helped you at all, please subscribe and uh, check out my video description for all the details. Thanks for watching. Oh yeah, by the way, I want to show you my actual YouTube media toolbar. The one I just made was an example for the video. There's my actual one right here. See, there's my icon. I use an icon for the logo search. This is a block, like a pop-up blocker and antivirus thingy links, message, radio, and home page. So yeah, that is mine. It's on my website under cool stuff in the menu. So, yeah.